Let's do some muscles of the back. So the very first one we're going to look at is the trapezius muscle. The trapezius muscle starts at the base of the skull around the external, external occipital protuberance and um, it's going to be attached by the nuchal ligament that travels down to C7 and then all the way down through the spinous processes of the thoracic vertebrae. The insertion for this muscle is going to be the spine of the scapula. So let's take a look at this. Here's the spine of the scapula right here along with the acromion process and of course a small bone, the collarbone called the clavicle. The next one we'll see on this model is this muscle. This particular muscle is referred to as the deltoid. The deltoid muscle has an interesting relationship with the trapezius and that its origin is essentially the insertion of the trapezius. So the origin of the deltoid muscle is going to be again the scapular spine, the acromion process, as well as the clavicle. So this is the uh, deltoid muscle here. The action of the trapezius muscle is actually quite complicated. It is involved with elevation of the scapula as well as depression of the scapula. So the upper fibers of the trapezius is going to be involved in, are going to be involved in elevating the scapula. The lower fibers will be involved in depressing the scapula. It also helps to adduct, ADD, duct the scapula and it is involved in upward rotation. It is raising the, uh, the arm upward, or the scapula upward. The deltoid, by contrast, is going to be involved in, again, elevation of the arm, um, and as well as abduction of the arm. And it is going to be involved in uh, both medial and lateral rotation. Now, the fibers back here will laterally rotate fibers in front of the deltoid will medially rotate. So this is a muscle that somewhat works against itself. The insertion for the deltoid will be the deltoid tuberosity on the diaphysis of the humerus. Deep to the trapezius, we have these muscles that run sort of obliquely like this, which are referred to as the rhomboids. Now this unfortunately is a destroyed model, but like, I think you can see this fairly well. The origin of the rhomboid muscles is on C6 down to T4, so cervical 6 down to T4. The cervical ones are in the rhomboid minor and the thoracic ones very, pretty much are on the uh, rhomboid major. Both of these are going to insert on the medial border of the scapula. These are going to be involved with downward rotation as well as adduction. So adduction similar to what we found with the trapezius muscle. The next muscle that we see here is representing a group of nine muscles is referred to as the erector spiny. Notice that these muscle fibers are running parallel to the spine. And so it's the only thing we can really see on this model, but appreciate that the erector spiny muscle is involved in keeping the spine erect.